Hello, 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 hello. So today we are uh, doing a DSA question data structures and algorithm question which are asked in interview. Before I start this, uh, uh, st before I start coding this, I just wanted to let you know that the same video is is being recorded in Hindi also. So you can find the Hindi video in the description. The link for the Hindi video will be in the description, and the documentation for this code, like. Uh, uh, the details about this code, how and what about this codes will be in the description. The link for that documentation will be in the description. The uh, documentation is written in English, Hindi and in English. So I think uh, that would be uh, comfortable so that you are comfortable to read in any language which you want. And uh, if you want uh, that documentation in Spanish, French or in some other language, comment i will write try to write it in spanish french and italian also so there's that uh, well let's start this questions question so uh, as you can see uh, this is a question named threesome and this is a vector question or array questions i will uh, use c plus plus as a language and let's first discuss the structure of the function and what's the question is saying what and uh, Let's first take this pen. Okay, according to the question, we, we are given an array, but here we are uh, using vectors. So let's say array vector, we use array or vector vice versa very loosely uh, when we code in C++. There is a difference between array and vector, very minute difference, but uh, we use it very loosely for C++. So uh, uh, we are uh, given an integer array num, return all the triplet, so triplet is basically if I say one and two, they, this is a dub, uh, two two letter like doublet. Then if I say two three some random, this is a triplet. So three elements. So triplet is three elements. Okay. So we have to find num i, num j num k such that i is not equal to j i is not equal to k j is not equal to k so i should be not equal to j j and i should not be equal to k uh, and j should not be equal to k so basically these three uh, number cannot be equal to each other like i can be equal to j from this uh, okay, I cannot be equal to J from here and I cannot be equal to K. So I cannot be equal to J or K and J cannot be equal to uh, K. So J can be equal, uh, I can be equal to J or not. No, I can't be equal to. So these element cannot be equal to each other right okay so we have to find element such that their sum is equals to zero so we have to find an element of i we have to find an element j and we have to find an element k whose sum is equals to zero okay so one approach can be that we should find two elements such that their sum is equals to zero we can do that and we I can fix this element like I can fix an element such that it is not greater than zero because if that if uh, an item is greater than zero then it will be very difficult to make it make the sum of three element e is equals to zero right so I can do that and there is a specific way to summarize it, I can say sum is e sum of two elements is equals to minus one into fixed element. So basically, a uh, element which is fixed. If I say minus one, let's say there is a of uh, element uh, two which is fixed. I will uh, multiply it by minus one. So uh, it is equals to minus 2 so the sum of two element let's say i and j should be minus 2 
so that if this minus 2 comes here, it will become plus 2 and th this is 0, right? So that's the intuition behind it. Okay. So there is a base case here somewhere. So the first base case which I told you is that the fixed element uh, the fixed element should not be greater than zero. Okay, so I will if if I fixed the any uh, the starting uh, element, let's say if I fixed uh, this element initially, then this should not be e greater than zero. First condition is this, and the second condition which I can see is that the vector or the array should be at least of length 3 because then and only then we can find triplet if it is less than 3 then triplet is not possible so these two are the base cases here so we will use our base cases and we will try to solve by using the logic which we came up with and let's uh, understand the structure of a function so this is a name of a function this can be anything which you want if you're writing in some your your own ide you can name it anything but for sake of this video i will let it be because there is a main function written around this for this ide and we are given a vector of type integer and nums so this is a num name of a variable this is a vector which we are uh, given to work with and we have to return vector inside a vector of which contains integer so we are given this and we have to return in output vector inside a vector so this so as you can see we found one more information by this so we have to make some vector inside a vector of type int so that we can output our variable so i will go ahead and name it as res result or answer so you can name whatever you want but i will go for answer so I have to initialize this also. So we've got our base cases and we've got our uh, hint for output which we have to return, right? Let's go ahead and code and let's see what we come up with. So let's first, okay. <clears throat> to make our life easy, we can also do one thing we can short, short this not short but sort sort this um, ve vector so that like it it uh, comes like this so after sorting the vector would be uh, minus 4 because minus 4 is less than minus 1 so minus 4 minus 1 then minus 1 then uh, it would be 0 then it would be 1 and then it would be 2 and anything else no so after sorting this will be our final vector and we will work with this because that will make things easier for us right so let's uh, first short why i'm saying short it's sort so that's my indian accent taking over which is cool so i will say num which is our row vector and i will say from beginning i will use begin and it will sort num dot end till end okay let this okay so this will sort over your array then we we have to go and our uh, Let's code for our base condition num dot size should not be less than three. If that's the case, if num dot size is less than three, then break. We don't have to do anything. We have to just break out of the code, right? Or we have to return something right here. So we can say return empty. So 
we don't we we will not return anything we just we will just return from there and uh, let's go for our second base condition okay which is why it is like the layout is a bit weird here okay let the layout is oh, indentation is kind of weird let's say here okay let it be let's work with our code indentation is all off well if nums our fixed element so i will take first element and i will say like I will take first element as a fixed element and after every iteration I will just move uh, like after adding our like uh, two elements because we are working with three elements so one is fixed so if one is fixed I will add two and I will use our formula on this and uh, if I get uh, zero I will return if not that's not the case I will move this fixed uh, element to the next element and I will add this element and this element while this element is fixed. So, and I will do that till I find my answer, which is zero. So I will start from first element. If num.0 is greater than zero, then we don't have to do anything because after adding i and j, right? Let's say if I add two elements and the third element is greater than zero, then the sum would be a greater number then there is no point of uh, writing the code there right in that case also return so these are our base cases now let's just start with our code so what i did uh, i took this as our fixed okay just a sec I took this as our fixed element I will take this as our low and I will uh, take this and we will move on let's say I will take this as our low I will take this as our high or uh, I can take this as an high that will make more sense but in a sorted array I'm not working with this array I am here sorting this array so I am working with the array which is minus four, uh, minus one, minus one, then it is zero, then one, then two. So I will take this and I will fix it, fix it. I will say this is my low and I will say this is my high. Then I will go ahead and say ki, uh, that summation of this and this should be minus one into fixed. So minus four. So minus into minus four is minus four. But when we add this, this is one because two is greater than minus one. This will become one. It will go here and it is minus three. Then that's not our answer. Then we will move this pointer here and we will move our fixed element pointer to the next element. And I will fix this and I will repeat the process again and again. If our, if we are getting more positive number, we will move our low pointer from here to here. If we are getting more negative number, we will move our pointer from here to here, high pointer from here to here. Right? I hope you understand. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So I will say first I have to make that vector which we can discuss which will store our value and I will say ANS answer um, now I will traverse for i is equal to zero i is equal to dot size it will go till the end right uh, and uh, increment it so i will traverse and then uh, what i will do if num uh, 
dot uh, first element is uh, what if we traverse and uh, if our num dot i first element num dot i because we are traversing uh, by using i if num i is greater than zero then we can't do anything because again i told you above only then break right then um, there is no point of adding numbers because if our first element is greater than what we want to achieve then there is no point of adding the number because that will increase the value of the number right so if num dot i is greater than zero break or else int low which is our i plus one because it would always be like the element which you have fixed would be your i and the low will be the i plus one -th element so int low is equals to i plus one and int high is equals to nums dot size uh, minus one okay because i am taking i plus one so that's my minus one here uh, i can write this like this or i can do this also because i have defined the variable type and i'm defining two variables uh, with different values so no, like both are the same way to write it like both will act as the same thing int sum is equals to zero which will our store our sum value to check whether we are achieving what we want to achieve or not okay then we will say while is less than high if this condition is true what you can do is uh, you can check you can sum uh, num num i nums i our fixed element then <clears throat> nums low uh, element uh, like one element after num i and our nums uh, high e h i g h you can do this so this will add up these elements right this will add up these elements and what we can do we also have to avoid the repetition of the numbers so we have to check whether uh, we we don't want i to be equal to j i to be equal to k or j to be equal to k right so we have to check whether numbers are repeating or not so to do that uh, we will write a code but uh, let's deal with our sum if sum uh, if low while low is a less than high sum is equal to i plus okay then uh, if sum is greater than zero that means we have a positive uh, numbers more positive numbers then we will say high minus minus like what we i have explained you before writing this code okay else if sum is less than zero right then low plus plus so if sum is greater than zero then move the high pointer here if sum is uh, less than zero move the low point ahead else else answer which i have written dot push back because this these two condition will be only run if this sum is equals to zero is not satisfied but if that is satisfied all we have to do is we have to push our answer in our array which your uh, vector which we have made so we will say answer dot push back num i okay num low uh, nums low and num high because we want triple it okay so answer dot push back num low num high okay now 
after doing that what we can do is that we have to check for like let's say these triplet are repeating if the these triplet are repeating that means we are wasting our memory in our vector and we are doing the same task again and again and we don't want repetition right so we can say int last occurrence to check for last occurrence int last occ r for last occurrence if uh, int last occurrence of nums low and uh, i will store the last occurrence of i will store the last uh, uh, low number the number which represents low in last occurrence right and i will store the high the last uh, high occr let let's make this low occr last low occr occurrence and last high occr occurrence we don't want a repeated triplet so we will say the last occurrence of high the last occurrence of low we will store it and then we will check whether it they, these are repeating or not so we will store here and we will say while low is less than high while low is less than high and and while low is less than high and and num nums low is equals to is equals to low occurrence that means these element are repeating low that means the the element which represents low is repeating is equals to o c c r o c c r if this is the case what we have to do we have to increase the low we don't want repeated value so increase the low right and this same process i will do for high also so while low is less than high and uh, and num high the element which is representing high and store and high right is equals to uh, last i that means this number is same uh, occr then high minus minus we don't want that number right high minus minus so this will uh, make sure that our elements are not re uh, repeating and i will uh, come out of this while loop i will come out of this else I will come out of this while and in the end I have to just return here our answer so let's run this and let's check whether our code is working properly or not okay so there is some problem in line number 20 in return so in return what we have Okay, we are using parentheses. We have to use curly braces. So we have to return empty, right? We don't use parentheses. We use curly braces. Okay, now what? Uh, no matching member function array answer dot pushback. Okay. Pushback is a like it's 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 a function of it's it is used to store values in stack and it is used so where in line number 25 after else answer dot push back so it is saying that this is wrong so i think this is a syntactical error right so what we can do is if don't tell me this is a curly braces error so yeah, as you can see like you have to make sure that you are using the right syntax and uh, yeah 
because these are very silly mistakes which you can do so what what i have done i have used parentheses which is used by push back function but i am storing a triplet so i have to use this curly braces so let's now run it again okay two test cases are fine but one test case is showing so there must be something which we are missing so we have passed over two test cases but our third test case uh, our first test case is showing error so short num beginning end i think this is right num um is num i is greater than zero this is also true okay some we have made our vector also we had a uh, run our for loop also and uh, oh, for i is greater than or equal to zero okay so what we have not done we have not taken in, in the and the, we have not taken one thing in account if two elements which are after one and uh, one another if that's the case in that case we are facing a repeated value error which we don't want a repeated value so we have a root condition for that so all what all i have to do is say if uh, i is greater than 0 if i is greater than 0 and at nums i nums i is equals to is equals to right we have to check whether num i is equals to num i minus 1 right if that's the case all you have to do is just continue two values are equal just continue and just continue just run the code like don't do anything just move past it okay now you you can see our code is running fine and our all three test cases are passed so let me explain this code one more time okay i know this is a much so i sorted this array i said we only can uh, have a triplet if there is three elements if there is no like there is only two elements we can't have triplets if our fixed number is greater than 0 that means we can't do anything because if we add something into a great into a number that will make that number more large or more big and here we can say what if i say minus 2 uh, or minus 3 and if i go ahead and i do this then in that case what i can understand from where this question is coming but there is this condition so this condition prevents this right we are storing our value in answer we are checking for our base cases we are checking if two numbers are equal then we just continue we made our highs and lows we made our sum variable then we say okay store that sum variable if the sum variable gives us more positive number we have to just uh, decrease our high point term we have to just move like this from end of array if it is giving like a value less than 0 we have to move our low pointer right okay let me come down okay then we will check we will push our triplet then we will check for uh, like repeated value if there is a repeated value we will ignore it uh, for low if there is a repeated value for high we will ignore it by doing this for high and at the end we will return our answer which is our vector inside a vector which consists of integer and that's how you do this question but in any case you have any problem while understanding this i will provide a link of a document in the description where it is written in english hindi and english which is a hindi written in english form so that you can go through it and understand it in your own way
I will see you in the next video. Till then.